Hi, my name is Blake within the Hyperloop, and I had the pleasure to talk to Hyperpod X John, who's the team leader of mechanical design, and Lucas, the team leader of public outreach, finance, and everything else. So Hyperpod X is a group of students from two universities, the University of Oldenburg and the University of Applied Science at Edom. Hyperpod X has a strong history at the SpaceX pod competition. Because of the success in the 2017 competition, Hyperpod X is now building a new prototype pod for 2018. John and Lucas, thank you so much for joining in the Hyperloop and taking some time out of your busy schedule with Hyperpod X. No problem. Yeah, happy to be here. Tell us a little bit about Hyperpod X and you know, how you guys uh, started you know, maybe three years ago for the first SpaceX pod competition and a little bit about each of your roles. Well, we started out three years ago, as you said, with our team leader and he, he really convinced all of us to work in this project and to, uh, to yeah, give all our time that we have. We're basically the competition team of two universities, the University of Oldenburg and the University of Applied Sciences and Lair. So we have actually two places where you can join all the forces to build a pod. Okay. And that's where we've been at for the last year to build a pod in Hampton and then ship it over to LA for the competition weekend. And finally, yeah, what we are really like, what my personal thing is, I want to go travel high speed from Munich to Hamburg, like really fast. So that's what really got me into the project. And cool. I don't want to go six hours. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the time the time difference uh, between Hyperloop and other modes of transport will be huge. Um, yeah. And John, how did you get involved? And what is your role? Uh, well, yeah. um, I'm the team leader for mechanical design. Um, I have a really mundane reason. Um, I heard about the Hyperloop comp competition, actually, and that our university had a team. And I thought, it, I, was like, I really want to be a part of this. I have let opportunities in my life pass me by before, and so I didn't want this to be one of them. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's, right. how, that's how I walked in. That's awesome. Um, and so, uh, Lucas, you you do a lot of different uh, parts on the team, you know, from public outreach to finance to operations. But, um, you know, how, how do you think, uh, you know, a future with Hyperloop will mean for communities um, and, you know, from what from what you see on the inside? I would say it's a very it's a very good thing for that the, for the communities. It's a very special thing because you can connect big distances, and so communities of a large distances really grow together as one. Um, so you can live somewhere and work somewhere else, like really far apart, and still have all the benefits of both locations. And that's what I'm really really looking forward to. And that's what we also want to achieve with Hyperpod X. We are thinking of having a large scale test track in Europe. Oh, and we are going to help build that to test the Hyperloop actually and have it also in Europe, not only in the US as you have it over there. That's cool. Yeah, I, I think there's a number of groups now working on test tracks and I, I think every region should have one. <laughs> so yeah, all, the, all the pods uh, can be tested uh, more thoroughly than just once at SpaceX <laughs> Yeah, really. Yeah, before the competition. Um, so in some of your, your roles, John and, and Lucas, mm -hmm. you know, what are some of the challenges that you face um, building and testing new technology? Sure. And so that depends on the person. Like for me, yeah, it's, it's all right. I tend to be a pretty free flowing person. And so for me, it's always about instilling order and process because I've found out that being like a leader or team lead, whatever you, leadership position, means that you often have to act counter to your own nature so that you can get the best out of everything. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally with John here. That's 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 really a big thing. Um, additionally, we have a lot of different characters in the team and a lot of different nationalities uh, actually. So there's a lot of different cultures there that you have to fit together in one team, and this is one of the biggest challenges, but also one of the biggest opportunities because you have so many different opinions on one single topic that you can use and then filter out the best that you can get there. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's that's not easy, um, especially with team. You know, that might be different the next year when you're working on a new pod design and and everything. Um, so we've touched on some of the challenges. You know, what do you like working um, in the Hyperloop community, and you know, in your role in particular? Well, that's that's also good and the bad part. Um, it it's sometimes a challenge to explain the Hyperloop to people that don't know about the Hyperloop before, that haven't read it in papers or something like that. Mm -hmm. And there's always 
something that people feel against traveling at these high speeds that Elon Musk suggested and fear the idea of the vacuum of the low pressure environment. Mm -hmm. But as you talk to people longer, they will you will finally convince them and it will be really great, a good discussion, a great discussion. And the one thing that I really love is this picture over here that we have in our office. Oh yeah. Um, it's a small boy. Uh, from a, um, he's eight years old and he wrote us a letter after the competition in LA. <laughs> It was really lovely. It was so good. And then he visited us this spring in our laboratories. Last and then, week? Yeah, last week. Um, he drew us this picture and gave it to us for our office. And it's great. You always, you, If you're looking at that, you're always getting like, oh, yeah, I'm doing this. This, this is the right thing. Oh, that's really awesome. And I mean, you guys are kind of uh, a big deal because you're you know, traveling internationally. You're creating something that other universities around the world are creating. And yeah, a lot of new kids are going to look up to you guys as kind of the experts and the and the people that are actually <laughs> trying to do something cool with trains and tubes or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if we could switch a little bit, do you envision, um, you know, Hyperloop vehicles replacing weekend trips or, you know, like a, a regular commuting option or this is kind of in the future, but... Oh, yeah, definitely. In five years, maybe. In 10, absolutely. I mean, people don't want to commute more than, let's say, rule of thumb, an hour a day. And if you can go, I don't know, 10 times faster, you can commute from 10 times farther away. Um, cool. Yeah, cool. who knows? That's cool. 10 years. 10 years. Ten years. <laughs> That's what I say, too. <laughs> um, let's uh, switch gears a little bit and close out um, on some fun questions. Um, you know, Lucas, you already said, you know, what two cities you would like to have connected. And uh, John, do you have any two cities that you would like to see connected someday? Yeah, so I grew up in Silicon Valley, so Oldenburg and San Francisco. <laughs> that would be awesome. Through the earth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's good. That's, that's, I haven't heard that one before. Um, I'm and, getting, that's what mom said. Yeah. And my last question is, if you could ask Elon Musk any kind of question, Hyperloop related or not, um, what would it be? Do you have one? <laughs> okay, I would say, have you heard of our friend Blake in, in Hyperloop? You know this guy. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> and, then, um, and then I would buy you a couple beers, <laughs> a, a, whole, <laughs> a whole series of round of beers. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, well, well, thanks, thanks, guys, uh, and HyperPodX for taking some time out of the day. How can how can people find um, your group and support you guys? Well, find us on the internet at HyperPodX.com. Well, additionally, it's uh, Facebook. Every social media that we have, like Instagram, Twitter, go for all of them. Uh, we got funny pictures and good-looking pictures on Instagram and everything else on like announcement on Facebook. Awesome. Yeah. Well, perfect. So, yeah. Perfect. Stay in the loop. Sorry. <laughs> I'm stealing your thunder, Blake. In yeah. the loop. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys, for, for keeping us in the loop of your of hyper products.